Hey, welcome back. It's a new episode of That Stupid Podcast. We're calling this one, I Told You Show. Red Jeans and I talk about our five favorite sci-fi movies of all time. We got a little bit of technology news. We talk about all kinds of stuff this week. Oh, and we talked about apparently Netflix again. Because we told you show. Hey guys, it's That Stupid Podcast, we're back again, and we're actually on time again. Know, like one week, and then another week, and... It's, it's like we're actually doing wow. this show every week again, it's oh, crazy. And, and you're lucky too, because I am, if you can't tell... He is bad sick, I don't even like being right here next yeah, to him. Yeah. Well, he's actually not here. You're a big ball of gross. Uh, I'm a hologram. That's right. <laughs> we're, we're shooting live from my bedroom. We actually have Tupac in the background, you yeah. can't see him, but he's there. Uh, so, we're going to start with the same segment we always do at the beginning of the show. I, I forget. Uh, uh, is which it that, one? It's, uh, that's the one where we talk about technology news. No, right? no, no, no oh, not um, that one. Uh, is it the, the video game thing, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's not right. No. Oh, yeah. We're going to snope something for you. That's it. All the stuff that you find on the internet, none <laughs> of it's true. Well, most of it's not true. Um, so, I have one that I actually learned something this week on, and I was really scary. shocked about. It's very scary. Yeah. Uh, I've constantly been throughout my life i'm an only child um and the only son blah blah blah. he acts like one yeah exactly and i really thought that i was safe from a potential draft by being the only child because they in uh it was back in the day of world war ii and you see films like saving private ryan the fighting sons blah 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 um where they had the i don't remember the name of the actual law but it's basically the fortunate son law where if you're the last surviving son, you are actually completely exempt from any military duty whatsoever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they kick you out. Unless you choose, of course, to be there. Mm-hmm. They, they, they basically give you an option to stay or go. Sounds too good to be true. I know. And I thought, hey, you know what? If, the, if, something, if shit hits the fan and Red Dawn happens... And uh, they've got to bust yeah, out the draft yeah. to fight the commies. All right, I'm cool. You're I'm totally cool. You're never, child. I'm good to go. Never going to be in the military. All and right. I find out because, and this was an actual law. Uh, it was uh, June of 1944 that they created the law, but they also may have edited it in 1971. Mm-hmm. And in 1971, they did edit. And with that edit, they basically completely took that rule away. And they were like, we don't really give a shit. Yeah. Uh, it's called Vietnam. Yeah, you're going. Yeah. So, yeah. unless you were draft dodger or something like that, there was no real getting out of yeah. it. So the history lesson is: there's this little thing called the Selective Service System. It's the mm-hmm. SSS. When you were 18 years old, you registered to vote. And you probably also registered. You re- you, you're required you legally. Your selective to re- yeah. Service card. And if I did you're, it. If you're between the ages of 18 and 25, mm-hmm. you are in a database that is technically still active. Exempt. And at that point, well, you're older than I'm too old now. now. Ha ha. The day that you get 25 and your car insurance rolls in, you're good. Yeah. It's over. Car insurance goes down and you won't be drafted. Exactly. Unless they change the Unless, unless, which wouldn't shock me at some point in the future when we go into World War III with Russia or whatever. Right. This is all because of Sarah Palin looking out her off her back porch and fucking with Russia. Thanks, Obama. All right. So what do you got for me this week? That's pretty good. Mine's a little bit less political, but still, I think, quite quite interesting All there's right. a there was a rumor about a dear abby <sighs> you don't article. say a rumor about a dear abby article that was pulled several years ago mm-hmm. and the rumor that it was pulled is it was pulled because it was essentially an episode of the simpsons okay this is how is that an episode of the simpsons well the person who wrote in essentially wrote in from the voice of marge simpson about oh, her, wow. her alcoholic husband who doesn't do anything he's no good Dear Abby wrote some advice back to this person, uh-huh. but the article was pulled before it was published. Who noticed that and was like, I don't know. this is Marge Simpson. This is actually a true story. This really did happen. A lot of people think this is a joke, uh, but this really did happen. What didn't happen, however, is later, th- later, because this is back in, uh, God, I have to look it up now. I want to say it was like in the 90s. I mean, It has is, to be, because I actually recently know that this, this week been a while. they had an issue again. Right, so in Winnipeg... Somebody didn't catch something that happened. Um, this was not Dear Abby. This was some smaller circulated, mm-hmm. but still advice column. 
And it was essentially Skylar writing in about how bad her husband was. I this heard was about that. It was from, from, from the Breaking voice, Bad. It was entirely from the voice of Skylar from Breaking Bad talking about her husband that just gotten diagnosed with lung cancer. He's out all hours of the night. I think he's cheating on me. I don't he's know got what's an going extra on. phone. He's got an extra cell phone. He won't. He but he denies it. <clears throat> and whoever trolled that that particular person did a very good job because. It got that, published, didn't it? Got it got published in one of the Winnipeg newspapers, that, and that also really happened this week. So, a couple Snopes truths for you. Good going, Canada. Way to go, Internet. Checking your facts and all that jazz. And you know what? If you would tune in more and let us Snope some stuff for you, this clearly wouldn't be oh, yeah, a problem. Yeah, exactly. I mean, had you... You should... i tell you what. There you go. Win, the newspaper Winnipeg... You might want to give us a call. Yeah. And next time you have an advice column, let us read that advice column Absolutely. First. We'll be huge in Canada. We're kind of huge. movie and TV crazy people, so if it comes to a storyline... We're, we're like, going to figure it out within five minutes. Because I is read... Is this the plot from Chasing Amy? Because I yeah. read that. I read yeah. it. Yeah. And it... Yeah. I, within a few oh, it sentences... Only t- it only takes... Yeah. It doesn't whoop. take long. It does not take long to realize that this is Skylar, if you read that. Um so that happened this week, and that and that, that happening kind of made me think about an older, the older soap, the, yeah. kind of the older rumor about the Dear Abby column. But that one did happen, and fortunately for Dear Abby's editors, they caught her they caught issue it. in time. Thanks, interns. Yeah, see, interns are not all bad. Nope. Even Vince Vaughn, he even learned how to le- he learned how to do his. his oh, that's right. His, his Gmail support. He was he 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 was googly. He was yeah. His googliness. His googliness was, was yeah. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's probably the best Vince Vaughn I, movie ever. I hate to admit And I don't even I like love Vince Vaughn that, that much. I love Vince Vaughn, I but I, I wanted to hate that movie. I, and kinda, I didn't I see it in theaters. Know, the movie we're talking about is called The, the, Internship. the Internship. I've seen about, it five uh, times. You know, Vince Vaughn and, six times. and Owen Wilson, they go yeah. they go and work an internship yeah. at Google because they're salesmen who are just put off. Yeah. They are fired. They are let go. They the are... The company went... Yeah. Hey, here's a watch. And Enjoy. no one told them. Yeah. So... So, but it, very good movie. Go check that out. That's our recommendation homework for the week. Oh yeah, for you guys. absolutely. A, and we're gonna be surprising talking about some of our movie. other favorite movies later on. Yeah, stick around later on the show. Stick around. We'll be talking about the best of for sci-fi. Oh man, it has been a slow week in technology. It's been a slow week in everything. Yeah. On the good, on the bright side, I totally hit myself in the face with a rock this weekend. So that was great. Not really. But there are some technology stores. There's a few. All right. There's well, a company out there. You, you ever heard of Foursquare? You remember them? I, yeah, I remember using Foursquare. You know, okay. You know I was how the you, mayor of the water cooler, man. That's the thing. Is like I, I have Foursquare still installed as an app. I do, too. And it's, it's like you, I downloaded it and I keep it, but I, I don't ever it, use it. I even have it connected to Waze because Waze will auto-check you in in Foursquare mm-hmm. if you wanted to. But beyond that, yeah, I it's rarely just, use Foursquare. I well, even, And they're, they're noticing that people are rarely using Foursquare. Well, I mean... <clears throat> they're launching a new app. Why? Because there's a lot of stuff that you can do in Foursquare that people don't realize you could do in Foursquare. Uh, you can only really check in in Foursquare, no. and then like you can go to the location and like mm-hmm. post a little message about you it. You can also go, hey, I'm standing in the middle of town, kind of like a Mexican place. And you can use Foursquare to find a good Mexican place and search reviews. Oh, you and can? Rate it. Yes, you can, can you? Yeah, you can. And that's How the did I not know about this? Well, the problem is no one did, right? And that's well, yeah. that they're so they're losing they got five billion check ins in their first few years and no one's using the same I mean, anymore. I just kind of assumed that the search yeah, no. area was for like searching for people nope. or searching for a specific place. Nope. Uh, nope. I didn't know that you could be like, hey, they fucking... wanted to I mean, originally part of their vision was to compete with companies like Yelp, but people never really caught on to that. Plus Yelp. Well, yeah, because I was going to say Yelp is awesome and everybody uses it. I don't use Yelp personally a lot. I I actually do. But it's if Google uses it in their search results, there's a reason. Chances are I use it because of that. So this new app called Swarm is basically they're taking the social element that people aren't using anyway that's in Foursquare out of Foursquare. So they're just leaving it as a check-in app. For now, I think you're going to see a big redesign. I think you're going to see some changes in Foursquare, but it will be a two-app uh, And where are they going to get the money for this? Because I'm I sorry, as far as I'm concerned, this company has should have dropped dead a long yeah, time I ago. Mean, I don't know. They don't have any. They don't have Nintendo money that I'm aware of. Mm-mm. So Hey, you guys, we like the Facebook of GPS. You know who's the Facebook of GPS? Facebook. Google Excellent. and Facebook. I was going to say Facebook's the Facebook you, of The GPS. second that Facebook was like, hey, look what Foursquare is doing. We're gonna add that. Yeah, and then I immediately drop. I started checking in, 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 in. I I check it on Facebook all the time because your friends are already on mm-hmm. Facebook. It's so easy. And yeah. and I remember when Foursquare came out, the idea was amazing. Oh yeah, it was cool. Oh my god! And then you get these little badges, and yeah. No, and it, first off, you guys haven't updated those damn badges in. 20,000 years. They are brilliant. There's like 12 of them, and I already have yeah, all... Yeah. I had all of them within like a year. Yeah, I know. And you don't even tell people how you can get the badges, so it's not like I can figure out right. more to use the app. I gotta go right. Google search that, and that's a whole hassle. Yeah. 
So, Plus, nobody was using it when it came out, except so for be, me. Be on the lookout for Swarm. Or don't, or because don't. it's probably terrible, and you don't want to use it. <laughs> so, what are we going to do, man? Um, not use that damn app. No. That's, I'm not using that. All right. It's not well, getting installed. There's another news story, and this one, we're going to file this under the... We told you so? We told you this so. This is the total... I'm sitting here, re- I'm like, mm, yes, yeah, uh, Smithers... Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm really dropping. We're we're just dropping the bomb. So, what did we tell you guys last week? Hmm. I think we mentioned something along the lines of. We've your, been talking about this since yeah, it happened. Yeah, pretty much. Netflix has inked the next deal, if you will, with for uh, their uh, open their... your packets get priority, and this one is with Verizon. Oh, they finally signed so. the deal with Verizon, the streaming uh, streaming preference. Right. So essentially, what it means is just like with Comcast, they have direct access to Verizon's hardware mm-hmm. to push their their packets across, if you will. And it, what it means for you is that their streaming originating content will be closer to you, and it'll be in that sense prioritized. Well, and and the funny so. thing about the whole situation is Netflix attempted with these big companies to put right. up their own servers and using the open server right. uh, the whole they they actually made their own protocol for this. Yeah. Yeah. Um and it was an open streaming server source right. thing. It was like OSS or something like that. And what it did was <clears throat> it basically looked where you were at, looked well, it's built at all, on open stack. So. Yeah. Looked at all the nodes around you. And right. pulled speed from each of the nodes around you to send parts yep. of the packets Absolutely. through, yeah. and to provide you the quick, the clearest, and the least amount of traffic. Right. Uh, you know, in like like right. hogging as far as the the other, as far as Comcast or Verizon or anything was concerned. And Comcast and Verizon was like, Nah, nah I don't good. want to do that. But you know, know, if you want to pay us money, <clears throat> yeah, that would be great. If you could just send us some dollars, of dollars. Fios, Fios people. Yeah. I don't understand how that they were they were getting super fast everything, super fast everything. but Netflix. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? I got a friend of mine who's a Fios customer. He texted me the other day and he goes, "Man, my Netflix is working really good." Hmm. It's funny that, that you know right after this deal happens. Yeah. And remember, mine yours was the same day, same day, like it within was. hours. Of within that. hours yeah. of that, I went yeah. home that night had full on True HD. Yeah. 720, Nuts. you know, 720, no, 1080p, no. seven channel yeah. audio, mm-hmm. Ultra HD. <laughs> coming at you thanks to Netflix and all their money and the bash oh Comcast we'll be talking about Comcast a little bit later too <laughs> well, we're just going to be talking about and we'll be talking about Netflix probably again next week because I'm sure I mean, we'll have a... we're going to have more Netflix yeah. Netflix is always who gonna knows be... maybe it'll be AT&T we're, we're just going to we're, the next we're just going to change the name of this to Netflix News that's, that's so. going to be it well, so the, uh, the last little bit of news is, and it's it's um, this is a cross between technology bites and app of the week, if you will. So uh, yeah. I'm just going to kind of throw these together. Uh, you've uh, heard me talk about Beats Audio before. There so we this go. is this is Beats Audio. Beats. Um, it's Beats by Dre. I don't want to talk as about in that. Doctor Dre. Mm-hmm. I don't have any Doctor Dre. I don't either. Uh, Beats hardware, like their hardware know, is. As far as I'm concerned, a lot of people swear it's by overpriced. it. Overpriced. It's overpriced and it's garbage. Now I'm not going to say I. I don't know that it's garbage. It's I, garbage I, in my opinion. I mean, I'd rather use Skull yeah, Candy, and so. I hate Skull Candy too. Oh God, no doubt Skull mm. Candy is complete crap. But you can create your own playlist. Like this, this is a playlist I created for my favorite artist, Miss Biff Naked. All right, because we all. I mean, if you know me at all, you know. You know he loves Biff. I'm Naked. a huge Biff Naked fan. It's no big deal. So, he she's she's retweeted me on on the twits. She whatever. does. Well, she know. follows me on Twitter. There actually. you go. So I mean, you know, Veronica Mars follows me on Twitter too. I'm rolling my eyes. And by right Veronica now. Mars, I mean Kristen Bell. Yes, like, of course. The legitimate. No, that's her name. Her name is Veronica <laughs> Mars. I'll hear nothing else. <laughs> So there's one thing I wanted to mention specifically about Beats Audio, and that is the fact that if you notice, I'm holding my iPad Mini right now. Yep. Up until this week, all you had an option for was either using it on your iPhone or using the iPhone app on your iPad, which, I mean, anybody... That looks horrible. Oh, it looks bad. So they, they, they finally released a new update for iPads. iPads. You can run Beats Audio. It has gotten a little bit better. I'm trying a 30-day, like, I'm getting serious about really using this. So I've stopped using Pandora completely, and I've stopped using Spotify, which is what I almost... So you're re- forcing yourself to I'm forcing to use myself this. to use Beats Audio so I can really get to use it. The story behind this is he's been attempting this for 60 days right now. Yeah, I had a 90-day trial, trial, and I'm in my last 30 <laughs> days. So I really need to give this a, a valiant effort. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ring down the top couple of things that I really do like about the service real quick, and then for later on, I'm going to do a full review. Um, first of all, it, it, they finally got an iPad app, so I'm going to put that out there. Second of all, you can use this app on your iPhone, your iPad, 
On the internet, they have a website where you can play just like Spotify does. Is there an actual app I can download to my computer? There is or no do? app okay. yet. I suspect eventually... It's lo- coming. Y- you'll probably have one, but for right now, it's just the web page. The other thing I like about this is uh, with the family plan, which is mm-hmm. only $15 a month. Cheap. That, that's not discounted. That's that is their plan. Five people can use it. Unlimited? Unlimited. Okay, that's no commercials or... No commercials, unlimited use, five people, and it has offline mode for all that's the That's what I was going to ask, yeah. You just go in and you tell it if you want to use it. I don't use offline mode because I don't really care to stream. I don't yeah. want to waste the space holding the music. Mm-hmm. But you can do offline mode for up to five people, and each person can have multiple devices. So it's I think it's ten devices total, I believe is okay. the... But five people, ten devices. So like for me, I've got it on my iPad mini, I've got it on my iPhone. Um, my brother-in-law and my sister use it because they're on, they're on my family They're on your plan. family plan. Both my parents would use it if they could figure out how to but um you know but up to five people can use it and if you look at the price between that and spotify that's its single i think largest big thing it's only five dollars a month more than spotify it's still five dollars a month more. higher family oh, okay i mean that's now if you just want it for you it's exactly the same as spotify their standard plan is ten dollars a month for one user and i think it's four devices or okay well that's, that's not bad i mean so you, you know. can do spotify the other big thing i like about it is the the audio quality is surprising um I, it's actually very good. So they're they're using a good quality. <clears throat> they're using good codec. They're using good streaming, yeah. and it's 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 been very good. And I won't I won't you can't really play too much, but I just because I don't want to get sued. So just yeah, a, just, it's just a YouTube quick, has pulled your yeah, yeah, just a quick jingle jingle there. Um, but coming from iPad speakers, it's actually impressive. The things I don't like about it, their catalog is still growing because they're young, and that's the single biggest problem I have with this. I bet I, there's plenty of rap though. And I listen to a lot of rap, so there I'm is not, a lot of rap. Not like like Smith Naked, they they have uh, several of her albums, but there is a few missing that I that I really really like. Uh, Purge is not on here, for example, which is one of my favorite albums of hers, and it's not here. Oh, I they don't album. have her. They don't have her spoken album, uh, Oakland Spay Ordway. You don't have a clue at the home talking nope. about, and it's okay. My point is, there's albums missing. Um, and I think it's from the be- artist listing, yeah. and it's probably because they have different, um, well, the different like record in her companies case, for it was those different record labels, right? So she had a private label for a while that she uses, and then she's also and 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 because she's Canadian, she has to distribute through like Atlantic Records and Canada, and Canada, yeah, Canada. Yeah, Canada so. has some weird laws regarding yeah. music. So you know they only have the, the relationships with the albums that were released in the United States through those particular record companies, like Sony Music and. So. Who are quickly learning, by the way, that if they're going to make any money off and this they at are, all, they are they're going to take the pennies yeah. that we But if you're them. on, by the way, if you're on uh, Beats Mutant Bobble, you can subscribe to my list. It's called Intro to Biff Naked. It's all an right. hour of, of my favorite tracks that are on this particular album. Will it, will it give me uh, an inside scoop to possibly liking Biff Naked more? I think it will. Or is it, I is think it, it a, will. Would you say that it's a total encompassing, it's hey, this little, is a lot of good stuff that it's, they've done? It's, it's, I did an, it basically, I picked an hour, and it's literally an hour and six seconds long. Okay. I mean, I got it really close. I wanted to pick an hour of music that was essentially her variety with what was available, because she does not always sound the same. She has yeah. a lot of different styles. Um, but this is not a bit of a negative review. This is an app review. So look for look later. Um, I don't know if it'll be on this show or if we're going to do it on our new shows. But I will do a full app review of Beats Audio probably sometime in uh, the coming not the May, coming the coming June. weeks or yeah. the coming months. Yeah, it'll yeah. probably be sometime. In You'll June. never see that. <laughs> probably not. So that's 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 that the one. Tech bites for this week. Uh, that's pretty much tech bites this week. I, I had one more, but we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna flip it. So we are gonna talk about Comcast again. And that's going to be in the next segment, the very next segment. So you might want to stick around. Game we, changer. We're going to talk about some shit. Video games coming at you. Mm. So speaking of video games, we actually have video game news this week, which is shocking because we have not just video game news. It's I, this not is okay. Massive video game news. This is this is like epic video game news. This is going to bring back people to a franchise that have abandoned I think it, video it, I game think news. It will. So basically, this week, um, they they leaked the new trailer and they leaked footage. From the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. The trailer features Kevin Spacey. I had no who idea he was, be, I had no idea he was taking part in this freaking game. I didn't game. either. He seems to be the main protagonist in the film. And awesome. And okay. well, the film. The game. I'm sorry. They they feel like films. They're they story were, modes. I these mean, trailers are films. Some anyway. of the stories were written by David yeah. Goyer. He also yeah. wrote things, I don't know, you may have heard of it. Batman. Ah. Pff, 
a little movie. So I mean, no big deal. Yeah. So the big thing that I want to talk about as far as Call of Duty, other than the fact that it looks cool, clearly there's going to be some advanced weaponry. It's going to get me to buy an Xbox One. There you go. Let's All say that the first. footage was Xbox yeah. One. It looks and amazing. There is a huge tie-in Call of Duty games. We've been waiting yeah. on this. Yeah. In my opinion, the move to the next generation has felt the next generation of consoles has slow. felt slow, very slow. Because they're fa- still releasing the same in, games yeah, on, on the, both consoles, mm-hmm. and in fact, it's one of the reasons why they Sony look shitty. And Sony kind of passed Xbox up in sales recently. They did. Same they reason, did. So. Well, another reason for Sony passing in that is because Sony's been launching a lot of games out. Right. You know, just pushing it out the door. Yeah. They also got a lot of indie games. I personally, as a gamer, don't give a crap about indie games for the most part. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to play indie games, chances are it's going to be on a mobile device. Um, I'm waiting sure. on my big budget AAA titles. You know, we got Watch Dogs yeah. at the end of this month. But what I really want to talk about, as far as Activision's process, yeah. they have been cranking out games with two different studios. <coughs> They've right. had what's remaining of Treyarch, and then they have the actual Activision studio. Yeah. What's remaining? Like two what's, dudes yeah. and a trailer. Exactly. exactly. That's really... Yeah. And uh, that's why I buy every other Call of Duty title a year, which I'm going to have to... They're screwing my, they're screwing they my are schedule really, up. They really are making it weird this time. Because now they have three studios. Yeah. They've got what's left of Treyarch, they've got Activision, uh, and they have the new one, which is like Sledgehammer or yeah. Stonehammer or so- something to do with a hammer. And yeah. here's the nice thing. Instead of being on a 1.5-year scheduled build... Which can degrade quality. Right. It's the reason people have been complaining about Call of Duty for the last five right. years. And have abandoned the franchise. And completely abandoned. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's still going to sell. People are still going to buy it. <coughs> but now, they're on a three-year build program. Yeah. yeah. So each game is looking amazing, hot, sexy, and it's taken three years to put it out there. So you've got another good right. chunk of time for quality control. And they can improve the graphics because, just like with the last generation of consoles, what we're seeing now... Is only beginning. That's the 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 tip. I mean, it is. They are playing just the tip with us right now. Yeah, they really are. And I'm gonna need the whole thing. Yep. So I'm really, really yeah. excited I mean, about I, this. I, I literally, I mean, I posted on Facebook this week. I was like, well, it's time for me to buy an Xbox. Well, not now because it was November, right? Yeah, it's November. no, it's coming out November. So, Call of Duty always I, launches I, I, in November. If I, if I don't buy it between then and now, like that will be the I'm that will be that. Well, you may want to because I know I love your special Xboxes. I'm waiting because you know, you see you know me so well. I mean, it's, I got the Gears of War three downstairs. Yeah, and right? I can almost guarantee you that game will be packaged with a special edition Xbox yeah, come so November. Would, and if not in November, I would have bought a Titanfall. It be, had they released that thing? Did you see that? It was the, 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 the mock up was made? gorgeous. It wasn't just a mock up. They gave twenty five of those gave, to the, they the gave it employees. to the Titanfall yeah. devs. Yeah. Um, I that was so much. Now you'll probably see this game packaged, maybe not directly in November. Yeah. But I would say oh, December Christmas. for yeah, Christmas. See, yeah, that'll yeah, be the yeah. huge game. Everybody wants yeah. it. And there will most likely be a special edition Xbox yeah. One. And if there's not, I'm gonna have to buy two damn Xbox Ones because I will buy an Xbox. I, I mean, I have to buy one for Titanfall, and that's like the same thing. I mean, Titanfall you know. is amazing game, yeah, but sure. I avoided the trailer for Call of Duty until today. I was eating my, I was eating my lunch, you and avoided. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna watch it. Oh, you had to. I can't believe and you it waited until blew day. Yeah. my. Well, because I'm so disenchanted with the franchise, I could care less. So I keep get I get out and they keep pulling me back in. And this one is going to pull people back in. That if I mean it definitely will. So game. there's one huge thing that Uh-oh. we want to talk to you guys about in Game Changer. Yeah, I'm gonna let you have this. I'm gonna let you have that. So we mentioned that we would talk about Comcast later in the episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's later in the episode. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna talk about Comcast. Bring it on down. So if you could pick the worst gaming company, don't you answer this? I'm this just gonna for the audience I'm for just, a minute. I want you to think in your head if you could pick the worst gaming company on the. On, on, the, on the entire planet. Not just for sometimes they have bad games, but the fact that their customer service sucks, that their game their games always get delayed, uh, they're always buggy as complete hell. Who would you pick? Now think about that. And if EA didn't pop in your head just then, you've never played an EA game, apparently. Um, and they get me. They still get me, because like I'll give you a great example. I'm a huge fan of Need for Speed. Big fan of that franchise. That's and, also been ruined. And they've ruined it because they gave it over to Criterion, mm-hmm. who, I mean, basically... Let's, Criterion's <laughs> awesome. They, they're great at making first-person shooters look let's, pretty. Let's, let's, let's do Burnout, but put Need for Speed's name on it. No, let's not. Let's stop doing Which that. Which also Criterion. kills me because Burnouts were their own game, and they yeah. were amazing. Right. Sorry. But it's not Need for Speed. It's not. It's, it's, it's not you, I don't want that gameplay. I want my old, I want my old 1996 <laughs> Need for Speed. I'm not lying. So... Why am I talking about Comcast and EA in the same phrase? Because Comcast is about this close. In fact, it's possible that by the time this episode hits Airs, the internet, it'll already be announced. It'll be inked. But they are within inches of inking a deal with Electronic Arts to stream video games right to your set-top box. Because that totally worked so well for Sega with Sega TV in the 90s. Sega. Mm-mm. 
Yeah, it didn't work well then. I don't know how it's going to work now. This is like a cross between what Sony's doing with their PlayStation Network where you can download and stream Which games. Which is, they've been talking about for three years yeah. and is still nowhere near completion. No, crap. <laughs> and I'm sorry, the idea no. of streaming games is cool. And I already know how they're going to do it. it they're probably cool. going to buy the online service. The online service is the first right. people who ever did streaming ga- right. games. And you know what? It they worked. It did didn't matter job. what hard... You had to have a basic right. hardware setup. Right. And you could stream high-quality games games to your right. whatever yeah. laptop hard, you know mm-hmm. yeah. desktop whatever and it looked and played really good actually there was yeah. a little bit of latency right but not enough for it yeah. to have mattered so it'll be interesting um you've got the two worst companies they've yeah. been they've both been voted they battle they battle back and forth this the shittiest year, okay. company last year ea won the worst this company year it was comcast and this year <laughs> it came down to ea and comcast and guess who took the cake not comcast. not because of the time warner thing or the netflix thing or any of those things at all i'm sure but this comcast did yeah yeah. So, you got the worst cable provider going to send you right to your desktop, or actually not desktop, your television rather. The television. The worst games on the planet. I, so, I, I let's look forward to that. And, and how have, much is that going to cost, I wonder? What controller are we going to use for this? Well, so I'm, I'm going to make some assumptions. Obviously, it's not the current generation of anything, right? So, you're going to have to get like the new version of whatever their nope. cable box I is. I bet money the X1 box, which is the high-end DVR box that they have, that allows you to... It has, uh, well, it does say, have USB three ports or four, on it. And it, it has USB, USB ports. ports on it, so. There will be, most likely... A, a firmware a, upgrade, you think? I think that yeah, there will be possible. a firmware upgrade. Possible. And they will release a controller in... <laughs> In team with EA, uh, and it will be a it will it'll be horrible. It'll basically be a it, rip off of an Xbox controller. Or, I bet money. or or worse, it'll look like that damn Amazon Fire TV. Controller. We don't talk about that thing. That Have looks you seen that thing? awful. Amazon, what are you doing? Your little remote control thing and your cool. set top box, very awesome, cool. very cool. The voice thing, no. awesome. Yeah, but that controller looks like garbage. It really does. I trust Steam enough that even though their Steam box controller looks yeah. goofy as all hell, I bet it's actually functional. Yeah. So we'll see about that when it happens, but yep. I don't. So that's a game changer mm, for you. It's not so much that, a game changer yeah. as it is like a game turn offer. Yeah. It's, so I, look out for you know I don't know when that's going to happen. It'll, it'll probably be at least a year. Sega TV Part it. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they ink the deal, it'll take it'll a while for yeah. us to even see this because they'll have to build the prototypes and and everything else. And there may be a secondary set top box. It, I'll I'll see what I can do to get a review unit. We'll we'll review it. We'll give it a fair shake. We will give it a fair shake, but. I mean, I've used Origin, it's EA's uh, DRM so for I have, downloading PC games. I have games. Origin because, again, I mentioned I was a Need for Speed fan. Well, you have to, yeah, to for some e- e- EA games. Yeah. You have to have even the Origin. Ones, even, there's one game I bought on Steam. And I you still, still have to have Origin to play it. I think Alice I had to have Origin that's, for. That's what it was. That, yeah. I played Alice at Madness yeah. Returns. Which was a great game, by the way. And that's It was okay. That's one of those things where, it, well, it doesn't have replay, but it was a great game one time. It through. was a little broken, in my opinion. <coughs> but, well, I liked Alice. But I love, I'm a huge fan of the original American McGee's Alice. And yes, you have to have Origin to play. Madness Returns, and I hate Origin. It's not I do t- I really And we don't even need to talk about the DRM SimCity 3 thing. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I just need to mention no. that. And we're gonna, okay. no. So that's that's Game that's Changer game for this changer. week. It's not long. It's just short. We're yeah. just, we're gonna, you know, we're going to be done with it. We're going to see where that goes. Uh, coming yeah, up next, we're going to talk about, uh, I think we're going we're, to, what are you going to do, pop culture next? A little pop culture? We can pop culture pop coming culture. at you here in just a second. So... Popped culture. Pop, 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 pop. You know, I, I posted on my Facebook this morning, Dear Hollywood, please stop. Would you like to enlighten the uh, members of our I, audience? I'm what more the than hell happy we're talking to. about? So as the, uh, you know, the, the resident, we're both resident movie nerds. We are compulsive the biggest, moviegoers. The biggest issue that I, uh, we everybody seems to have with Hollywood lately is that you guys keep turning out stuff I've already seen. Over and over and you over started, and over You again. started heading towards this in about 2009, and it's only gotten worse. And right now, we're at a head. And the head we're fighting is yeah. that you guys are pumping out more remakes than your original content, yeah. which I understand the theory behind it, which is it's more cost-effective to put money into something you know is going to at least bring you some production value. But at the same time, you're missing out on a lot of great right. movies that are ending up as indies and still making more <laughs> money on top of that. And my problem, a slave, motherfucker. And my problem is, it's it's like, it's seven to one, it's going to blow. Because mm-hmm. there are some good reboots. <clears throat> mm-hmm. There are. It, well, there's You have to draw the line. There's a huge thing here. You guys are making remakes. Right. Which is, there's a difference between a remake and a, and reboot. a reboot. That's true. A reboot, uh, for, I'm going to cite Robocop. For Robocop. This. Robocop. Great reboot. Not a re- no, awesome. I enjoyed that movie a lot awesome. more than I thought I was going yeah, to. Me too. And that was not a remake right. because reboot. it's a completely different storyline in all. Right. Yes, there are little pieces of the story that right. remain the same, but it's a reboot of a franchise or a series right. or just that single movie right. done. 
A remake is where you actually go back and you take a movie and you try and literally remake it to you know, make it current. And if you try to put Keanu Reeves in it, it turns into War uh, the Day the Earth stood still and you just want to shoot someone in the face. Or Total Recall. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> Colin Farrell. I'm looking at you. Not very happy. And I didn't even pay to see that movie. Yeah. It wasn't as bad as the... Uh, I got... Okay. Still, though. I don't know, man. It was such a just it was, peace. Yeah. And I got in for free to see that film because I got in early for an early showing. And you know what I did because of that? I told everybody not I could to, to not go yeah. see that movie. Yeah. It was just bad. So let's cite a couple examples of stuff that's coming out because... So, coming out pretty soon. Actually, well, I say pretty well, soon. Well, what's, what, what, what's, what was the story that really launched you into this tirade this morning? This morning it was uh, Beverly Hills... Cop. Yeah. And they, the, the the studio, I, I read the article this morning, they can't decide if it is a reboot, a sequel, or a remake. And in either case, it's still Eddie Murphy, which makes it weird. If you're going to yeah. reboot with Eddie Murphy, you need a new character. It, you need a new character. Uh, maybe just if Axel Foley's sequel, son or new Axel Foley I mean, and just a, have him come in a as a cameo. Sequel, then, then I'm okay with that. If you want to do a cameo with the original Axel Foley, I guess I can appreciate that. I mean, really, what is like, Judge Reinhold doing right now? Yeah, I mean, he'll be in it. He will definitely be in it. But for example, who you know who pops I, into I my mind immediately? It, who could be Axel Foley? Hmm. Michael B. Jordan, the guy that they yeah, cast. Okay. He was All in right. Chronicle, which yep, was yep. the found footage superhero film, yep. which was awesome in my opinion. In yep. case you didn't see it, it's amazing and it's yep. a horribly Ooh, dark film. But Michael B. Jordan, he was also cast to be uh, Johnny Storm yep. in the new Fantastic Four movie, which I'm just Yet not going to talk about until I see the film. A remake. I'm okay with that because the in last my one sucked. They yeah, were bad. I, I, I'm not saying the last one didn't suck, but and what? that's a reboot. It's but and, and I talked Again, I talked I know, Mad I Game about Spider Man being a bad a reboot. It turned out amazingly. I saw Spider Man two last night. Yeah, I did too. I you know I watched it last night at my house, and it after the long after at your 10 house years. Yeah, I mean that that movie really holds up. Tobey Maguire is the shit. I went to the theaters to see Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man oh! 2. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Now, I will give you that the old Spider-Man movies, 1 and 2, it's sad that they never made a third one. It Hold really up is really sad well. they make a third one. I wonder why they didn't do that. I don't know. Hmm. It's odd. Sam Raimi it's just, odd. I guess he just didn't want to do it. I guess he hates money. He's like, yeah. But uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 yeah. was phenomenal. They actually yeah. managed to juggle the amount of villains that they had in a very sneaky manner. Yeah. It worked. And you got a lot of unexpected dubstep in that I'm movie. Hoping, I'm hoping to see it tomorrow. I didn't get to go last night because you know I'm sick as crap. He is, so. yeah, he's a big ball of gross. Yeah. So well, speaking of Beverly Hills Cop, they're also remaking a huge <sighs> classic that is I'm, killing me. It, in the inside, it's the man movie. <laughs> when I think of men movies, I think of like this three is, movies. This is I've one got of them. Tombstone. Yeah. Uh, I've got pretty much any Clint Eastwood movie where he carries a giant gun. Right. And I've got Top Gun. Yeah, why are they? Re- why are you remaking Top Don't, Gun? Don't do Bruckheimer. It. What are you doing? So, first of all, I should I should warn everybody. This isn't confirmed yet. Jerry's just shopping around. But here's the thing: it's well, he, Jerry Bruckheimer, and what Jerry Bruckheimer wants. Guess what, people? He gets it. He That's gets how we ended up with Godzilla in the late '90s. And we're not talking about the cool ass Godzilla coming out now with Brian Cranston, which is I am. We're I'm talking. Gonna, I'm going to go on a limb and say it's going to kick major ass. We're talking about some weak ass P. Ferris Diddy Bueller, weak, oh God, War God. Games, Matthew. Fucking oh! There's another movie that should never been re- should never had a War sequel. Games? War Games didn't 2. need it. War Games two directed War Games two directed DVD. Oh god, it was bad. Horrible. Tron two, I'll accept it. War Games two, we're not going there. Tron two, I'll accept for a couple of reasons. One, Daft Punk. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Three reasons. Uh, one, Daft Punk. Sure. Two. They did a very good job of holding on to the original story. And Tron, linking both and, of them right, together. And putting those two worlds together. And three, I'm in love with Olivia Wilde. Uh, I'm also in love with Jeff Bridges. So. There's no lie there. Even though that man has been making a string of terrible films lately. He's still the dude, though. He's he. I mean, that's my thing. He's Jeff Bridges. You're never going to... He's yeah. got some classic roles. So, so we, we got to thinking about yeah. that. And since yeah. Hollywood is, is doing a lot of those uh, remake movies yep. and things like that... There's also another sequel that you wanted to discuss, and I didn't even know about this, so I'm clearly behind on my stuff this week. Come on, skid it, skid it out. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Oh, so, God, I just touched you. You're yeah, so that was sick. a mistake. So there's this movie that came out last year, I guess it was. Uh, Olympus has fallen. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the other white terrorism. House, the other White House down, if you will. America. <laughs> I actually liked Olympus has fallen. It was all right. I liked White House down better. 
by far. I love White House but, but Down. I liked Olympus Has Fallen. Well, they're making a sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. It doesn't have a name yet, but it's being set in London. And if they don't call that damn movie London Bridge is Falling Down, I'm going to flip a table. Maybe just London Bridge London Bridge Down. Yeah. I mean, it's probably going to be yeah. based on, if you guys know, and this is terrible, and I probably, I'm not like super happy about it. I sound yeah. excited. I, I know I made uh, a joke for the punchline, but they really are making a sequel. They really are making the sequel, and I have a feeling it's going to take place about them. Do you remember the London bombings that happened back in 2010, 2011 in, in, in the subway? I don't think it will. I think it's going to have something to do with that. There will be oh, some subway bombs. Yes, I think they'll take a callback to that, but I don't think it'll be. They won't focus. No, on it won't be the main focus of that movie yeah. at all. But they'd be silly to not. <laughs> no, I agree. That up. But I, you know, you're going to see. You're you're definitely going to see that Ferris will come down. Yeah, I mean, that, every, every oh, movie that's shot in London, the, that they take Ferris the will get destroyed. They take the will get Ferris will down. I, I mean, like, think of Doctor Who even did it. Yeah, yeah. Fair so were they what? They're allowed. Yeah, I mean, it's Doctor Who. Speaking of Doctor Who. Speaking of Doctor Who. Terminators are cool now. Terminators are cool. Confirmed. Matt Smith confirmed is going to be in the new Terminator franchise. And they even tweeted Notice about it. Notice I said it. franchise. I didn't say movie. Nope, franchise. They're, they're Not one, not two, three. three Terminator movies are coming out. Confirmed and paid for. Yeah. And he is going to be at least one of them, and he's not going to be a Terminator or anything like that. What he is going to be, though, is a character closely linked to... John Connor? John Connor. <clears throat> That's I'm okay right. with that. Though. I'm okay with that too. To be I, fair, I love he, Matt Smith. And in my opinion, Matt Smith looks. If we're gonna go with he'll, Terminator Two. He'll be the um, geeky. He, well, I don't remember what the kid's name in Two was. Yeah. Edward Furlong. Yeah, yeah. Matt Smith kind of looks like a grown up Edward Furlong. If Edward, Edward Furlong hadn't gone all drugs weird. and fat yeah, and yeah, weird, because yeah. dude's crazy. Um, so I mean, I would have loved him to actually played a grown up. Me too. And he's beefy now too. Yeah. He's yeah. getting beefier because he, he did that movie with. Uh, he takes his shirt off a lot, and chicks are like, "Oh my god, Travis Ryan Gosling." Uh, th- and believe it, <laughs> that's really my process for how I remember things. That's awesome. Um, I mean, he did that movie yeah. with Ryan Gosling, yeah. and he got beefcake. I, I actually for forgot it. about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, as it turns out, not such a great movie. It's probably why I forgot about it. So, so but that's coming. So there are. And I'm looking forward to it. But see, and that's ironic, right? Because I'm bitching about Hollywood remaking movies. And yet you're I've really got, excited I've for the new Terminator I've franchise. I've got a hard on for the Terminator franchise. I'm, I'm a big fan. Of, I mean, I, there are a couple franchises that I've always been very long You're into. invested. I'm invested in Terminator franchise. I'm invested in Superman. For, I watch every Superman reboot television show. I, I watched Lois and friggin' Clark. I was right actually going to say, you know what I actually really loved so, in the 90s? I Dean Cain was the I loved Dean Cain as you know, Superman. Lois and Clark um, was an amazing series. I, you know, I, I was huge into Smallville. and uh, You know, I just never got show. into I missed, missed the boat show. on that one. It was a good show. You should, watch, you should go back and watch it. It's on it. Netflix. Totally worth it. Uh, and I love the new Superman reboot. I also enjoyed it, but I'm really worried about that next movie. I am worried a little bit as well. They they just recently added another yeah, person to I it. Know, they I added know. Cyborg. I know. They were like, hey, let's drop all these huge characters. So just in case if you're wondering what the total Superman movie character tally like is right now. or something. They're talking Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, yeah. Cyborg, Lex Luthor, and possibly, and I shit you not, <laughs> Doomsday. Well, here's why they're doing that. <clears throat> they won't come out and say it. Well, there's, no, they've already confirmed they're they're set up for the Justice right. League movie, and they confirmed it. Oh, That's why Cyborg's that. in there. Yeah, okay, they confirmed it uh, last it last Thursday, last that. Thursday night. All right, so Warner yeah, Brothers dropped the bomb. But that, I mean, we all kind of knew it. They they didn't. I mean, you know, I know they may have taken a long to confirm. I it, think they're just going the wrong route about this, and well, I mean, Marvel's going to eat them at, alive. Well, <laughs> look at historically speaking, DC's always done well in comics and horribly. Oh, in Horribly. anything else. In anything else. Well, except for one show that I happen to really love. Hmm. Arrow. Oh, yeah, you are big and Arrow fan. I'm a huge yeah. Arrow fan. That is as close as we're ever going to get to a Batman live action, That's true. real gritty show. And I've seen show. the episode. I am, I am going to go back and watch that once and it's done. And they're, so. they're also launching the Flash show, which I... I mixed emotions am, about that. Nope, I'm ready. Really? Bring it on. I'm going to watch the whole first season and then make my call on it. All right. I'm going to give it one right. season. I got mixed emotions. So, so. And, and Marvel normally doesn't do very well on television either, but you know what? Agents of Shield, Shield is awesome, and it's drawing viewers. It's 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 it, it hooked me day freaking. They've out. already been. I think they've already been confirmed. They've been for, confirmed for two more seasons. Yeah, yeah. So through the ABC Disney Marvel deal, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's just there. So and you know what, ABC, if you wanna if you wanna stop making that movie and let Netflix do it, I'd be okay with that too because Netflix knows how to make TV shows. Netflix really does. I mean, just look at it. Orange is the New Black. Is, oh, it's coming I, soon. I'm waiting for season two. I'm dying. Oh. I'm dying. Even even if Laura Perpon is leaving. I don't care. I'm okay. With I'm that. okay with it. She's I, not a main character. Yes, she is. Nah, well, ish. I, I ish. 
she's more main than Crazy Eyes. Yeah, but yeah. I love, but I, I love, love, I love some crazy, some crazy Eyes. eyes so, so um, I think that's all we got for pop culture pop on this week, week uh, and we're probably going to be back to wrap up the show. We'll do our uh, best of, which is our new segment this week. Yeah, well, we did best of last week. It was uh, I forgot it was so boring. So stay with us for I'm the next kidding. segment. We're going to be doing. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> Stay with us for the next boring segment for Steven this week. It's going to be the best of. We'll both do our top five sci-fi movies. And of my boring... No. I, I know that was mean. That was mean. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. I actually... It's fine. I'll just be okay. It was a, it was a good oh. segment last week. It was a very good segment. No, it's all right. It's the first, it was the first well, of I, the best of I got segment. to learn... There were a couple of those comics that <clears> I know about. Read. I'd actually never. Did heard you go before. check them out. This I week? did. They were pretty good. Pretty too. good stuff. Thank you very for thank you for that. So, so. this week we're, we're going to do a different best of. I'm going to start with my five. He's going to give his five. These are no particular order. Well, well, everything is on a level playing field here. We don't want. And, and the biggest reason it is is because, quite frankly, it is really hard to. I, oh God, it's, it's hard to number stuff. It's hard. It was hard for me to do five. I mean, you want to you want to do gonna like talk, twenty-five? Yeah, we're going to do a couple probably honorable mentions, if yeah. you will, things that we had to remove from our list. Mm -hmm. But my top five, in no particular order, sci-fi movies are The Matrix. First of all, because it's the freaking I mean, Matrix. it's the ma and it started its own genre. It started its own of, genre of techno sci-fi, cin cinematography, even. I mean, yeah, like, they changed with the whole yeah, shots the Wachowskis yeah, did yeah, by yeah, setting yeah. up those cameras for bull, for the bull, bull time, time and the spin yeah. shots. It was it was Ooh, never been done. Before. It had never been done, and so. I, it's amazing to think that they could do that. At that point in time, because now we can right. do bullet time without without having all that equipment cameras, yeah, like we needed that when they did. This was ninety nine when the movie came out. It was shot in ninety seven, and it blew my mind. As yeah. I was fourteen when this movie came out. God, I feel old right now. And it blew my mind. It I spent mind, so too. many days listening to that soundtrack, and it was underappreciated. And playing oh, Goldeneye, Rock is dead. and playing well, Goldeneye, right. man. Oh yeah, yeah. that was all. Go. I would just I would, if I, I needed God. to get in the zone, I'd do that, so, and I just pretend I was Neo as I'm James Bond yeah, into the levels. Nice. So I mean, for me, it was great. <clears> you know, I. I got to see it in the theater. A lot of people didn't because it was very underappreciated. It did not do very well in the movie Which, it, yeah, but when it hit DVD, it, it blew, blew up. up. So I was fortunate <clears throat> to see it in the movie theater. I think that was one of this generation's first cult classics, in I, my opinion. Yes, I agree with that. That's your gen, so, That's a Gen Y cult classic. I'm not a Gen Y, but it's still love it. Uh, Serenity, because I'm a ginormous Firefly fan. Yeah, his car even has... Uh, I, have, I have a Serenity sticker on the front of the car. i got a Firefly sticker on the back. I have the... Firefly. Show uh, me your iPad real quick. Oh yeah. Um, there's the oh, fi there's the there's Firefly the fire Shipworks. Yep. I, that's in my car too, by the way. I have one of these yep. badges under the hood of my car because I'm a. Oh, and also obviously like the, the nerd herd for the Chuck. Yeah. But I, you know I'm a huge huge Firefly fan. So Serenity for me was as obviously as close as Firefly season two as we were ever going to get. And while I, I have to tell you, I never want them to make another movie. I don't ever want anything else Firefly related. I, I don't well, care if no, you burn me I, at no, the No, that's stake. not true. I, I do read the books. Like, I've been reading the graphic novels, and they're good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just. Josh, we I don't. Them. I know, but you know, it just gets people hyped up, and you get these. People no, I don't get more hyped stuff up. And I don't the, get the hyped time up. Is done. No, the time is done. I don't want another movie. But if 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 you've never seen Firefly, go watch it. It's only like Firefly. what thirteen episodes. It's 13, 13, 12, 13, 13, episodes. 13 episodes, I think. And if you've never seen Serenity, it's good. And, and Serenity's even cry good. Afterwards. Even as a standalone movie, Serenity's Serenity actually is. Yeah, good. you don't really need to see this. See, I, I actually good. watched them in reverse. Yeah, because I saw. Well, I saw Serenity at a Dragon Con preview event, and then told it. Oh my God, you guys just thought movie and they're like yeah. there's a show there's a, what, what do you yeah. mean you don't know about this yeah. so i got nerded up that weekend because firefly didn't do that well there were a lot of people didn't know about and it, they moved so. it around like constantly so what's, so what's what you got the next one uh my next one is district nine and that may surprise a nope. few people that is a fantastic movie but i i i don't know there's just what is his name charlto cooper or charlton cooper yeah. or some weird Whatever, weird new zealand guy name yeah you know <clears> it's just i i in my mind, for me, that wasn't just a sci-fi movie. It had a lot of social, social, social commentary oh, sure built it into it yeah. about racism and, and, right. and about acceptance, right. and just how things. Well, I mean, it was very concentration rich, camp. -y. It was. I it mean, was. It was, was. That was. That was World War II essentially. Yeah. I mean, that was. You know, instead of herding all the the Japanese up, they were herding up all the mm -hmm. all the displaced uh, aliens. 
And I love the fact that it took place not in the United States. Like, like no, I, it was, it was Johannesburg. Right yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it was kind of neat. Johannesburg is, you know, a place that a lot of people that don't get to see different parts of the, the world. Don't even know exist. Yeah. So, and by the way, it looks like that there. It that's, really that's does look how like, it looks. Yeah, that's true. They didn't really build um, sets. They just went to a bad part of that area. Just, from a sci-fi standpoint, it's a great movie. But like you said, from from a, just a kind of a social experiment, it's a great movie. So, my next movie, Escape. From New York, it's got Snake Plissken. Oh, I love Snake Plissken, and that is that is for me. That's one of the epitomes of, people, of sci-fi film. And what's ironic is a lot of people, as soon as I said Escape from New York, go, "That's not a sci-fi. That's an action film. movie." Yeah. And first of all, it, it can be an, both. It is an action movie. It is a little bit of a dystopian society type movie because you know America's defunct. But you know what? So was Serenity and Firefly. Mm-hmm. People, those were action. That was an action show about a dystopian society. Absolutely, it was a dystopian universe. It was well, basically yeah, everybody. Right. Got, you've got all this technology, but it's also a very right. space western right. feel to it. So sci fi doesn't always have to be just robots, robots and right. fucking right. computers. So and for me, Escape from New York completely is sci fi. It fits in that realm. I I'm a huge Kurt Russell fan. I, love I mean, Kurt I Russell. you know big rub, big trouble in little big China, trouble in little China, which, which is, I would also cons- well, it's more of a fantasy, I guess, no, than sci fi. But yeah. I just like that that Japanese dude like blowing up. Blowing up. He gets... And then my last movie, and I saved this one for last because not it was my least favorite, but because we just talked about Mm. reboots. Mm -hmm. And my number five is a reboot. It's a reboot. 2009 Star Trek reboot because, oh my God, I just crossed my eyes. I got so crazy about it. I was like, ah. You were so excited. Seriously, um, as far as I'm concerned about that movie. One of the few movies, I've I've literally walked out of the theater, bought another ticket, and walked right right back back inside. I literally did that for Star Trek because I was just, I remember sitting there going. Just that look on the, the face of, yeah. I need, I need to, I want to I, go I did, there. I, 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 and they, they nailed it. As they far did. as the story, to they be did. able to do and anything they want to. People are mad. They're like, you completely ruined the universe. But they had to. They had to ruin <clears> the universe. But they didn't. But they New universe. Do whatever the hell we want to. We're just going to start the timeline over. And, I mean, look, Simon Pegg. I'm a huge Simon Pegg fan. Nailed it. And his Scotty dude. He did nail it. Nailed it. He did nail as far, it. For me, though, you know, Carl Urban I was worried about because, you know, you think Carl mm-hmm. Urban, he was in Doom, and Doom wasn't right. very good. Doom wasn't anything. And most Carl Urban movies weren't that That's great. True. That's true. But and you got Zachary... Um, Zachary Quinto is Spock. Quinto, thank you. I couldn't... I feel bad. I could I was worried about him actually when I first heard that. I, I wasn't. Hero. I knew he was. I liked gonna, I knew he, had it he was Scott, a good he, actor. Yeah, he is a good actor, but I was a little worried about him. I was even a little bit worried about. I was worried uh, about Chris Kirk. Pine. Chris Pine. Chris I was Pine. I was worried about Kirk because Chris Pine has always been and and when I thought about it later after seeing the movie, I was like, well, they nailed it. Of course, it was Chris Pine because mm-hmm. I was worried originally because Chris Pine is a hammy, usually very hammy. What do it's you Captain mean? Kirk, right, I've and then I was like, "Gotta fight these people." Why am I worried about it? planet? But he's hammy without being campy in that movie. That's the and biggest that thing. That is how they nailed the crap. Well, out for of me, that. the best, the best crew member, and I love Simon Pegg, and I love Scotty, and he, it was nailed. Gonna, but it was Bones, Carl uh, Urban. Carl is. Urban. I mean, he sat he, down he and just, watched all the footage of the really original did, series, really and he I mean, nailed and, it. And 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 you know, all right, I, Carl, I love you, brother. I do. You got to keep doing movies where you're supporting lead actors because you're amazing. Yeah, I've never. I don't think he's had a very good starring role except for Dread. Dread is it. And by the way, you totally nailed Dread. Absolutely, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. But stop getting awesome. me hyped up for the new Dread movie when I just had your producer go live on Friday and <laughs> right. be like, "Carl's out of his damn mind." Yeah, yeah. So. It's just in the ideas. They don't even have a script for that second so. film. Although so. I will say one movie I didn't like him in too much, and I like the movie. Uh, a little Vin Diesel movie you may I may remember. Oh, that would be uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Yeah, yeah. He was not good in that movie. No, no. So <laughs> no, we're buddy. all hitting this sometimes. Sorry, Carl. buddy. It's not a hundred percent win. But so I've got a five list. You got and, top and, five. and before this, before we talked, I wanted to clear the air of what is a sci-fi film. Right, right. Because we were going over our list. And he's like, is that and really I was like, like I don't know. This is a sci-fi. And, and then like, we're like, totally I think it's sci-fi. sci-fi. And he was like, I think it's sci-fi. Yeah. So, um. We decided the sci-fi doesn't have to just be aliens and robots. It and, doesn't. You know, it doesn't. It can be anything that has a science Absolutely. fictional element to it. Right. Uh, and, and when I say that, I mean, like, time travel, freaking... Time travel, um, sci-fi. Just some certain dystopian... Because I asked... Good point. I asked yeah, totally. if The Running Man would be considered a sci-fi movie. Yes. We both consider it sci-fi. Absolutely. So, for my list, the first one's going to be Alien. Not Aliens... 1977. Alien. Oh, my... Oh. Sigourney the first Weaver, time I the watched... The year I was born... 
two of the best movies of all time came out, Alien and Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> so, so now you guys are all like, where was where was Raiders and where was Star Wars and where was the other stuff in my list, dude? I only could pick five. You could only pick five. So, Alien. so I'm picking Alien because I remember good, being good a kid choice. and seeing that movie for the Scared first the time. That he didn't. It? What what got me was yeah. the guy who was the the cyborg, right? Mm, when the yes. it pops the the, uh-huh. the yep. the alien pops out of his stomach. I really wish I was wearing my, my chest burst. Hello, my honey. Oh wait, that that's was space, space balls. balls. Sorry. Um, but he bursts out, and then yeah. the guy's got all the milky fluid, yeah. and they figure yeah. out he's an android. And it yeah. that I was terrified. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was yeah. absolutely I just that. That was a life changer for me. Yep. And for you kids out there who have not seen Alien, I know it's almost 30. It'll be celebrating its 30th, 30th year yeah. in just a few years. Yeah. Uh, I want them... Here, here's... All right, I'm going to make a ploy. Listen, Hollywood. Wouldn't its 30th year have been... 40th 2007? year. 40th year. It's 40th year. Math is hard. Uh, math is hard. I'm sick. That's my excuse. I'm making a ploy to you. Was it Warner Brothers that did that movie? I can't remember now. I don't remember. All right, whoever you are, Hollywood, listen to me. Do not remake Alien again. Do not drop a Prometheus, but do me one favor... Take that film, remaster the shit out of it, and put it in theaters. I want to see that in IMAX. The original I would totally see that in IMAX. Alien. Original cut, not original any of the, cut, the other DVD cuts. All just remastered in 8K out to out all oh, the way to IMAX. That would be that'd be sexy. And I know you can do it because I've seen The Wizard of Oz the Wizard of on Oz. Blu-ray, and it's amazing. <clears throat> now, the second one I have is and and I'm not talking the reboot here because this okay. is another reboot that we discussed earlier. Yeah, it's Total Recall, the original Total, oh, I love Recall. Total Recall. Campy three boobs. I mean, the the three boobs. Wade, it's not the reaction yeah. played. Oh, <laughs> but my best scene of that entire movie, yeah. and which screams sci-fi to me, yeah. other than the fact that they're on friggin' Mars. Mars. Yeah. Is when he's running through the airport terminal area, not an airport terminal, but the oh, subway the, the, terminal area, the, the, and it's the, the X-ray, X-ray machine, machine yeah. which. Yeah. As a child, and I remember watching it. We yeah. just came out. It had just come out yeah. on VHS, yeah. and we were like, "We're gonna watch it, yeah!" yeah. And it blew my mind. Yeah, and that was some cool. high tech yeah, animation very cool. for back in the day. It was very cool. So um, I love Total. I love Total Recall. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw my third one out right. there, which is this is actually one of my favorite movies, and it's one of the movies that I remember uh, being one of the first movies that I loved and I saw in theaters, okay. and it was just classic to me. And that's the original Men in Black. Oh, MIB. MIB, Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith, and yeah. that movie, I've wa- I watch it probably once every couple months. You ever flash the thing me? No. <laughs> Do you ever flash the No, seriously, K. Do you ever flash the thing me? Yeah. There's only one thing about that movie that doesn't hold up. Mm. The fashion. Because Will oh, Smith yeah. running down New York in a yellow, big baggy hole. Look, dude looks yeah, like MC Hammer chasing yeah, somebody. It was it's bad. hilarious. It is funny. But it is a great movie. I totally it's agree. fantastic, totally super agree. quotable, yeah. um, just perfect yeah. as far as I'm concerned. This is a sci-fi movie. Yeah. The second one, eh, third one, Third one's it. awesome, too. Yeah. Uh, and they're actually talking about making another I know, one. I I'm very excited. I am, too. So, uh, for me, the movie nerd kicked in, and I, I feel a little Uh-oh. cliche putting this one That's on okay. the list, but cliche. I'm going to do Free. it anyways. Lay it on me. 2001 A Space Odyssey. 1968, I think that came out? Yeah, and right. uh, that was, as far as I'm concerned, one of the original sci-fi <laughs> Well, you know, it's thrillers. It, and here's why you're saying you're cliche, because if you look at pretty much any top sci-fi movies, it's, it's, there. it's either number two or, or number, number one, one on yeah. everyone's list. And there's a reason for that. It is an epic it is. story. If you yeah. not, First of all, Here's a, I mean, I know we have a bookworm show, and we're not on it. You need to go read 2001, because it's an amazing book. Yes. But the movie's actually really good. The movie is, so. sorry, and the biggest thing, which is funny, there's no dialogue in the movie. Hmm. For, uh, it's either 12 full minutes, or it's 20 minutes and one second. Oh, yeah. For the first, there's no dialogue. No dialogue at all. At all. Yeah. It's yeah. just sar- silence and yeah. some sound effects. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's a good movie, though. And it's, it's fantastic. The shot, it actually established a whole bunch of the shots that you see day-to-day in True. sci-fi movies that we make to now. Yeah. So my last one. Lay it on me. We were talking about uh, Asimov off-camera. Yeah. And I had to replace something on my list because I had a movie that popped in that I definitely considered to be sci-fi. And again, this is a movie nerd thing because right. the look of it, the feel of it, everything right. screams sci-fi to me. And that's a scanner darkly. And a scanner Good darkly, choice, a scanner darkly has uh, Keanu Reeves, Woody Harrelson. It's a very imagine very that it's weird a Keanu Reeves movie. sci-fi movie other than The Matrix that didn't suck. It didn't suck. I'm looking at you, Johnny <clears throat> Mnemonic. Ooh, well for thinking it sucks. I have 512 megs of RAM in my brain. <laughs> That was a lot back in 95, 96 uh, when that came out. Crap, it was horrible. It was man. not not a very good film. That would have been out at the same time like Dark City and yeah, other things yeah. like that were out. Yeah. Um, but Scanner Darkly was amazing for me. It was based on an Asimov story, yeah. and um, 
it's a really weird and complex movie that I would definitely suggest watching once, taking a little bit away from it, coming back like a week later and watching Watch it again because yeah, you're I not you're not really you'll, even you'll I didn't really so catch a lot yeah. of the stuff the first Absolutely. time around. So Absolutely. Um, I think that's it for us. Yeah, we'll get a couple honorable mentions. Back to the Future you took was the one you took off your list. I took and, I took Back to the Future off on my list oh, once or twice too because so I I consider that to be I Robot was on my list once or twice. Tom Asimov and bit, you know three, I, the three laws. I there are don't, three laws safe. I don't know if I would put it on there, but I I, I can't consider Ghostbusters sci-fi. It's totally sci-fi. What but I really think about? that it is sci-fi. It's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. Because sci-fi. there is science there, yeah. but I don't know what else to call it. it well, it's it, sci-fi. I mean, it's it's true sci-fi because it's science fiction and fantasy. Okay, so that's... I mean, yeah, it literally that's, that's, is the if definition. If I go look for books or something, that's a section I'm going to look yeah, in. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I love Ghostbusters. I and mean, that's... A, it's awesome. I could watch Ghostbusters a million times. Yeah, me too. It's a shame they never made a sequel. I love the sequel. I'm not ashamed to say that I love Ghostbusters too. I will say it right now in front of God and everybody, every one of these twelve viewers that we have. Yeah, I love Ghostbusters too, and I don't care how bad dancing purple, uh, dancing pink goo is or whatever. Everybody can hate that movie, but I love it. It was Bobby Brown that kind of killed it for me. That was. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> so I think that's that's all we got for this week, right? Yeah, so it was a good it was a good show, and uh, believe it or not, that was two weeks in a row, and we're even going to be here next week. Three I weeks, mean, dude. We're getting back on it. Mm. Don't forget, we've got Dragon Con coming up in August. We will be doing Absolutely. a live show from Dragon Con. We want to hear uh, from you who you want us to talk to. Make at sure Dragon Con. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube so you get all the new videos from Absolutely. not just us, but everything on the TSPN yep. uh, network. Um, which, of which new shows are coming. New shows we talked about coming. last week. His new to go show, Game On, is coming. Which I'll do that. some too. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually thinking about with Game On, we're going to take a, a different direction with that. Oh, we may do it. He's going to do his version of the Game On. I'm going to do my version. Well, we've got console PC, and, and they I'm don't have to match. I'm going to do some tabletop. Ooh. That's exciting. All right. I mean, I can't compete mm. with Geek and Sundry because no. they got Will Wheaton, but I kind of want to do some tabletop. Wheaton. <laughs> Wheaton. But, uh, let's see, what else I we got? Oh, well we're still doing the Who Would You Interview situation, so make sure to go to the yeah. Facebook and post on there Let's who know. you would interview. Go check out the dragoncon.org. Facebook.com slash That Stupid Podcast for your post. Go to dragoncon.org for the guest list. The guest Tell list. us who we need to interview, because really, I'm kind of lazy, and I don't want to go through the whole list. And I really only care about who you guys care about. Well, yeah, because, I mean, we're all here for you. Yeah, we're here for you. We're here for so you. make sure to stop by uh, DragonCon if you're going to be in Atlanta, yeah, Georgia. Absolutely. Uh, over and have you guys weekend. noticed, uh, even though, granted, I have a big red hole in my head because I got hit with a rock, have you noticed how good we looked this week and yeah. last week? Oh, we, wait, we why is amazing? that? Why is that? Well, I got some new lighting. Mm, and uh, Oh, we got a camera that doesn't suck. Yeah, we did. So we're ready for DragonCon. Full we, HD. So we're, running, we're rocking the, the Canon XA... 25. I don't know what so that means. It's in their, it's in their Vixa line. It's, it's awesome. Direct uh, DS. Uh, it's, a, it's not a DSLR. It's a direct input camera. It is a true cinema HD. It's uh, nice. It's, we got a touch screen nice. on that thing. Yeah. We also got a baller microphone, which yes. you'll see, see us so we have doing road, interviews. We have a true uh, road made by road. Uh, true interview mic. You'll see when we're at Dragon Con, we will be using the hell out of that mm-hmm. microphone. Cause right now we're using this little condenser mic and that's good for in the studio, yeah. you can't hawk this thing. I'm around. not carrying that thing around with yeah. Dragon Con. Plus, it picks up too much background noise. Mm-hmm. The road is designed to filter wind. It's designed for all that good stuff. So, hopefully, that'll help us look a little bit better as we go down the road. Uh, one of these days, we're gonna get rid of this green screen behind us. We're and gonna put, put a in real some real wall back there. So. That'll be good, too. All right, so other than that, stick around. Uh, make sure that you watch all the other shows that we're going to put out there. Subscribe, yeah. like us on Facebook. I don't have anything else for the week. Follow me on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. Woo! And uh, let us know what you want to see. Really? Tell us what you want. If you got a show idea, we will give you whatever you want. I mean, that's how the science show got started. We want people wanted will science. Be, you'll be seeing Getting that very science. soon, by the way. So stick around for the TSPN uh, network. We're continuing to upgrade and grow. But other than that, um, I'm going to sign off unless you got something no, for No, peace out, man. All right, deuces. Here's my cut point.